If he texts me right now, I'm still in the area. Uh, it's been 30 minutes. He's 30 minutes late, but I will turn around if he texts like right now. I'm not that far away from the meat spot. Oh, dang it. That wasn't a text. Oh, that was just a like on Twitter. Hey, what's up everyone? Danny here. This is the next Craigslist ride along and it's for a graphics card. Uh, it's down in downtown Seattle, so I'm gonna have to drive down to go grab it right now, but I have a cash on hand. Uh, and I'll give you more of the details about the graphics card and the price and stuff uh, in the car, so let's go. And I'm gonna head out. How are we gonna be? It's about 23 minutes there. Talk to him for like five minutes. Can we come with you in case you get killed? No. So the graphics card I'm gonna go pick up right now is the GTX 660 Ti. It's the MSI Twin Frozer Edition. And the person who listed it on Craigslist uh, listed it for $25. For that price, this is awesome performance because you're coming in at around like an R9 270, 270X-ish, RX 460, somewhere between a like 950 and 1050. But regardless of the performance, for 25 bucks, that is like a steal. And there is one catch to this though, and the catch is that there are problems with this card, but I don't think that it's too big of a problem, in my opinion anyways. If the computer is put to sleep when the card is in there, uh, it can't wake up. You have to do a full reboot. And I made sure to email and text him and ask, is that the only problem? Other than that, there's no problems in terms of like temperatures, artifacting, or anything else like that. And he confirmed with me that. So I think it's still worth the price at $25. The only problem would be if you had some work that was unsaved or something during the sleep, you would lose that. But for $25, I, I think this is an awesome deal. And I'm willing to uh, risk it. And I'm gonna play with it a little bit once I get it to see uh, if that is the case and if it can be fixed. And if not, uh, I need to make sure that everything else is fine. It's kind of a gamble because there could be other issues with this card. But it's $25 and at the performance that the card gives, I think that if it does work out, the benefits far outweigh the risks. So uh, I'm willing to bet on it and we're just gonna see what happens. The type of system that this card is gonna go into is gonna be like a really low cost build. It's definitely not gonna be over like $200, more likely around the $100 to $150 price range. And at that price point, you know, given the performance, which I'm gonna target about medium 1080p, um, you're gonna have to expect that there's gonna be small issues like this. I'm actually really excited to get this card aesthetically because uh, it has the blue twin frozer shot on it. In the past, I've only ever built with uh, the 270X and the 290X, which had the red shroud on it. I just get excited anytime I get a car that even looks different, let alone performs differently from anything I've ever, you know, used or owned before. We're meeting at a coffee shop in downtown Seattle. It's in a neighborhood called Queen Anne, which is relatively close to the Space Needle. And uh, it's gonna take me about 25 minutes to get there. So it's 7 p.m. right now. I should get there around 7.30ish, hopefully a little bit sooner, because that's when we said we were gonna meet. So this is a paid parking spot, but I hope I can be fast enough so I don't get a ticket. Looks like he's not showing up. He's not texting or anything either. So uh, it's been 20 minutes. It's 7:50 now. I'm not gonna sit here forever. I mean, if he's running late. I wouldn't mind if he like texted to say he was late. But I have no idea if he's gonna come at all. So I'm not gonna wait that much longer. This might be the first failed Craigslist ride along. I'll give him five more minutes. Uh, but maybe it's better that I didn't get this graphics card because um, maybe it just would have had problems. Dang it, no, I really wanted the graphics card. Uh, I'm just trying to make excuses now because I wasted uh, 25 minutes driving here. I'll give him till 7.55, just cause I'm already here. All right, it is 7.55. I have the map routed for home and we are gonna head out of here now cause um, 
I don't think he's coming. Uh, his communication was good up to that point though. So I have no idea why he just stopped responding. Maybe his phone died or something. Cause the last time uh, I did confirm with him uh, prior to him uh, stopping all communication was a couple hours ago. So I should have texted him a little bit closer to the meet time to make sure he was still on for it and to remind him if he had forgotten. So from this happening, I guess uh, I did learn a few things. If you are meeting someone pretty far away, like for me, I consider this kind of far away, 25 minutes, half an hour, it's kind of a waste of time to uh, drive out here and walk away with nothing. Not only in gas, but in time, in terms of cost. Make sure you text back and forth quite a bit uh, to make sure the person is still coming, uh, that they remember and they are still planning on meeting up with you. Uh, this was only 25 minutes, but I can imagine how much worse I would feel if it was like an hour or like a two hour drive for like a different deal. Um, and then you just gotta expect sometimes uh, people are gonna flake. It was bound to happen eventually. I do a lot of these Craigslist deals. This is the first time like someone has completely flaked. So if you can uh, try to meet somewhere closer, but sometimes you don't have that choice to because usually the seller kind of decides where they're gonna be selling. Just be ready for that risk and make sure you communicate a lot. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video. So I hope you all enjoyed or found it entertaining in some way. Uh, I apologize if it was a little bit more boring because there was no interaction and I didn't walk away with any hardware. I've had a really good long streak of good Craigslist uh, transactions. So this was bound to happen eventually. Uh, I, I mean, I don't feel too bad about it. This is for me going to be a relatively interesting video. So I'm looking forward to editing this and then releasing it. And actually I'm very interested in what you are going to say about this. Um, but yeah, thank you as always for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, let me know down in the comment section below if you guys have had any similar experience to this actually. And as always, let me know if you picked up something awesome on Craigslist recently or got some really good deals. But yeah, I will see you in the comment section below as well as in the next video. Bye.